Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com. We're going to do yet another third molar, molar video. I have a lot of content on third molars and treatment already. You should definitely check those out. You can search by keyword third molar or wisdom teeth um, and watch all those videos first. This is just going to touch on a few topics that we've touched, but I want to make them a little more um, impressionable. So basically, a lot of times patients say, hey, I don't want to have my third molars taken out for treatment. Do I have to? And my answer is going to be, well, that depends. You got to take a look at the case. If it's a spacing case, that's one thing. Maybe not. If it's a crowding case, there's five major ways we're going to treat crowding. How are you going to treat crowding? Did you take your set? That would be my first question because you don't really know how to treat major crowding or moderate crowding without that. It's just a guess, right? Depending on the age of the patient. Assuming the patient is not growing. If the patient is growing, it is, you know, probably less of an issue. So what are our five ways? Well, go into the video that I have called crowding and it talks about the five ways you can search by keyword obviously your five words are you know your IPR your lower incisor extraction your premolar extractions um, you've got expansion you've got proclination you've got sequential vascularization those are the major ways so one of those ways or even two of those ways depending on if these third molars are erupted or if they abut up against to a tooth that is important like this one one of these ways, two of these ways are going to involve the third molars. Which ones? Um, sequential distillation, of course, that's scooting things back. Can't do that. If that's there, can't do that. If that's there. Um, but also even just arch expansion. I personally would not arch expand in this case because there is this, which is abutted up next to this, which is kind of in a funky situation. So I would probably, if I was in braces, not bracket this. Um, or if I was in Invisalign, I'd lock it. Because why? Because I don't want to be moving that around. Because a lot of times when I move that around, there gets to be a food trap, cavity gets in there, um, it can cause damage to these teeth. You know, if you really don't want to get this tooth out, then I'm not moving this tooth. Anything that happens there, it's not on me. Because many times something blows up, which could easily happen if you were moving this tooth. That blow up's on you, ortho, even if it was due to perio cavities. Hey, in a dental board's mind and an assurance board's mind, it's on you because you moved with you moved it. Okay, so how do we know it wasn't you? I only know if it wasn't me if I locked those and didn't touch them and they didn't include them in the treatment plan and the patient signed that we recommend this to come out and the patient knew that was best treatment patient, wanted a compromise option, patient knew the risks and that we decided not to include them in the treatment plan. We just left them alone. They weren't covered. They weren't, well, maybe partially covered on the mesial. They weren't moved or anything like that. So. Now we only have so many ways to treat this case, assuming it's a crowding case. If patient's too young, can't do that much IPR, now we're taking on a lower incisor. And I definitely wouldn't be taking out premolars on a case like this if I can't move the second molar. So that's out as well. So um, yeah, so it limits what you can do. So sometimes, yeah, sorry, teeth have to come out. No option, can't take this case. Of course, look, this is not gonna correct itself. So this may or may not have decay. This case, this is super hyper erupting, which is gonna cause prior issues. So it's not a matter of if, but when those are gonna have to come out anyways. So why not just take them out now? If they're being that stubborn, they don't want them out, then you probably don't want this case for ortho. Why put yourself in a precarious situation taking a case that you can't, that might blow up one, two, three, five years down the road and cause you to either have to give a refund or worse. So don't take this case. All right, thank you.